we're going to do initially is we have our frame of beautifully capped honey. Uh, you have to have a frame that does not have um, wire reinforcement in the foundation. It needs to be just a wax, totally wax, uh, and totally natural honey. No plastic. No plastic. And so we have several ways we could do this. Um, one is you could merely take your knife and in your box and, and kind of set your box on the frame and, and cut it out. Uh, the only problem with this method is you sometimes get an imperfect cut. So the other method is you can buy this little comb cutting tool here, uh, which is really inexpensive. I think it was like $15 or something like that. And this will do it for you. And so you merely just pick out a nice spot that's got beautifully capped honey, and you put your box over it and you push down. Now, ideally, you can get four boxes out of this. So if you can get all the way to the edge, you can get four nice pieces to put in your, your cases. Now, also ideally, you prefer to have completely capped. So as you can see on our frame here, we have several areas here that aren't completely capped. And what we're gonna do with those Instead of putting them in the boxes here, we're going to use those pieces to put in our, our mason jars, our pint jars, and then we're going to fill honey around that. We're going to select out this area right here. That's really nice. And then we're going to lift up. There we go. Uh, in our box. Box here. It slips right in our box. Round system you buy is a complete super. So you buy the drawer, the frames, and the foundation strips. Um, so these just come out. And what it is, when you get, you'll notice these discs actually are in two pieces. The way this works is if you put one half of the disc in here, you lay a piece of wax foundation, you put the other half of the disc on top, and then this clamps down on top of that. So you have wax foundation inside the disc. And you put this in a really, really strong beehive. And, uh, and this is what they build. They, build uh, they fill out the little disc with honeycomb, filled with honey, capped off. Now these have already had the foundation stripped between them trimmed. Because we took them off a few weeks ago to look at them, opened them up. They weren't quite capped as much as we'd like, so we put them back on the hive for a while. So when you're harvesting the first time, you actually trim the foundation sheet around each round. Once you have it, you make sure all this wax is kind of trimmed off tight. Got this cassette here. Fit it in there. Twist in. Got our lid. Snap it on. Got around. So you see, it's a lot easier than the comb, but the bees don't necessarily like to build as readily. In the, little, in the little spaces, and so um, we like both systems, both have pros and cons, um, but both give you a really pretty product, and I'll put a label on one of them. So, 
Just like the cut cone that we just got through with, these will just be frozen for 48 hours as well. Just to ensure there aren't any black mold. This one I'll stick her up and we'll probably eat it today. But we'll probably put these in the freezer as they are, cover them with some plastic wrap so that we can keep the condensation from getting on the honey because you want it to stay nice and dry. So we'll just box these up for show. This one we'll enjoy tonight. But um, these stickers are really nice. They're designed for the Ross rounds. And all you do is put them on. Okay. 